Oh. Okay. We're live. Okay. All right, honey. I don't know how, do I add you or? Yes, I invite you. Oh, okay, I'm ready to get you to it. Okay. Did it work? No? Hello? <gasps> Hi! Hi, love! <laughs> how are you, beautiful? I'm so well. Look at you, stunning. You look stunning. I love your yes. hair. Thank you so much. I got it done recently and I was like, it literally was like the best thing that I've ever done, going back to my natural roots. But you look amazing. I love the red lip. I think it suits you so much. Thank you so much. I had to get my glam on. I was like, I'm speaking to you tonight. I need to just go full glam. Go all out. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. I feel like your makeup has transformed and it is literally so beautiful to see because you're so stunning. Um, like, it just makes me so happy. <laughs> oh, that is like the biggest compliment I could get hope for. <laughs> oh, you're Thank so you so cute. much. I really am enjoying it. Thanks to you as well. A lot of, a lot of, um, yeah, your encouragement. <laughs> you're so cute. Whatever I can do to help, because I feel like, especially as a model, I guess it would be very, like, because I know for model, I know a lot of models have to do their own hair and makeup, so it's very like they, you gotta kind of know what you're doing because you don't always get the privilege of having a hair and makeup artist, and you obviously want to feel better and more confident. So I completely, I, and I agree, I get it. <laughs> okay, so today we're basically going to be talking about some insecurities, especially as a model, I feel like it is very, um, put aside your model, that's incredible, like hello, but you're a woman as well. And I feel like we all go through this and I just thought it'd be amazing to talk to you about this, just to kind of get a real woman's perspective on this kind of stuff and your full authentic answers you know like i am so open to hear and i'm sure everyone is so eager to hear it as well so shall we just jump in <laughs> yes please i'm ready <laughs> yay you look ready can i just say that <laughs> <laughs> okay so i'll just start off with a few questions and you just we will just have a chat you know so do you find it like trouble adjusting to society's idea of beauty okay well um I guess my answer to this is uh, like presuming that I've adjusted uh, really, which I don't think I ever have and I yeah. probably will not, but yeah. I understand like that standard is, is there. Um, yes. I don't really fit into it and I'm not really sure who does because it can be quite um, very, I, I don't know, I, I, very narrow <laughs> yeah. and very limiting as far as expressing expressions of beauty. Um, yeah. But I, I think for me, because I, from a very young age, my concept of beauty was always, um, I was always taught that I had inherent beauty. So I grew mm -hmm. up thinking that I was beautiful, not because I had, not because of my external appearance or any kind of level I've achieved in my body type. I, I really genuinely had people around me who sewed in that you are beautiful because that is who you are. So I am really, I know I'm really blessed in that because I know that's yeah. not how everyone's like everyone's story. Um, yeah. But I think in a way I have to hold on to that though. Like I'm in an industry where that is constantly challenged by, like you're saying, those societal yeah. views of beauty. Yeah. I don't see myself reflected in them necessarily. Um, but it is, I think it's very grounding having that as your basis because then well, um, it's hard to lose um, your view of your own personal beauty um, when yeah. it's not based on societies because we know, like I'm, I'm up with trends and, you know, the different phases of beauty yeah. and, and different seasons. So, you know, but they, they're always changing. So I always exactly. felt like the adjusting, I've saved myself a little bit of instability in that area because my foundation isn't on something that's changeable. Societies. Yeah thinks different things are beautiful. I mean, just look at the history of beauty, um, different yeah. body types, different whatever yeah. um, cultures were considered beautiful. So I guess I would if I was required to, um, I feel, you know, kind of conform to a societal mm. view of beauty. I'd find that difficult because I know I wouldn't fit. <laughs> um, Even yeah. like as a model, you know, do you find it like, do you ever get categorised in little things or do you feel like because... 
um, your look is unique. Uh, realistically, we all look unique, but because you don't look like the ideal body type, ideal, you know, whatever, do you ever feel or like that you get idolized like that or like you get kind of pushed back or something? And how would you deal with it? And how would you get someone else who's starting up as a model or anything going through that like to deal with it? Like what would be some advice you could give? Yeah, I definitely deal with that. And I will have the temptation at any casting to go into the insecurity of when I am not chosen, um, I have a choice. I can view that as um, I'm, I'm not uh, like beautiful enough. That's one route I can take. Yeah. The, the preferred route <laughs> that I like to consider is, uh, look, I'm just not everyone's cup of tea. I'm not everyone's cup of tea personality wise, but I also think appearance wise <laughs> um, and just everything. So I try and train myself to do that. Otherwise, mm. I will be so discouraged because as you'll be aware of in the modeling world, I go to so many castings, I'm rejected a lot. So if yeah. my concept of beauty depended on whether I was um, accepted, whether I got a job, external things like that, I'd be shaken and I honestly wouldn't still be working in this industry. Yeah. So yeah. when I teach others, that's what I train them. Um, and also a lot of, there's a lot of different things that go into um, when it comes to kind of getting modeling work. Um, that have nothing like obviously it's an aesthetic and obviously the certain yeah. looks but there's other things as well so reminding myself that there's other um, reasons for certain brands that they're choosing a certain aesthetic it helps me take it away from personally condemning my own self and my own appearance um because yeah. that is not going to yeah help <laughs> I, I, love I, that. Don't say I haven't done it <laughs> but um of course I, we're human <laughs> yeah but i try i, I try not to um get like I don't want to give away my inherent view of beauty which is that yeah. everyone has beauty and everyone exactly. is inherently beautiful and I think if you keep a strong hold on that no matter what casting or room you walk in to it can help um, it can help you um, get off that merry-go-round I guess mm -hmm. of am I good enough do I look am I impressing this person because then beauty becomes it's very destructive, that concept of beauty, when you put it in someone else's hands to decide and tell you, like whether it's society or a casting director, and you're waiting yeah. for them to say whether you're beautiful or not. You have to know it before you go in for me, before you even get in front Amen. of me. do that. That is like the best thing I've ever heard, and I completely agree with that. I think it all comes down again to your self-worth and like how you see yourself with any industry. So I love that you do that. So what are your thoughts on makeup? Because I know when, um, like when you bought my course, you kind of had some knowledge, but you weren't really, you didn't know that much. And so I'm, I'm very curious to hear your thoughts on makeup. And do you think it's empowering or oppressive in your opinion? Like, because you know how you hear people say, oh, you're a catfish and all that stuff. I personally laugh at that because I think makeup enhances you no matter what. But I'm so yeah. keen to hear your well, I am fairly new to makeup, which is yes. why I'm so glad I found you. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm such a late bloomer. I didn't wear makeup until I was, I think, well, I'm going to give away my age anyway. Um, but I think probably late 20s. Um, I never funny. wore any makeup. Um, I just, I'm from the country. It just wasn't wide in that way. Yeah. Not saying that people from the country don't wear makeup, but it just wasn't something in my um, world at that time. Yeah. Um, so I have found coming, like getting in the last few years, getting more interested in the creative side and the artistry behind makeup and just being around amazing creative makeup artists like yourself. Yeah. I just find it so, for me, empowering and inspiring. And I think, I think that's because I know my worth and value. So I'm not, again, I'm not assigning my value to what my makeup looks like. I tried tonight. I gave it a whirl. <laughs> You look amazing. But, you look amazing. You did great. But, thanks. But I'm, I'm not, you know, my value isn't how good I can do it for me. Yeah. I don't find it oppressive at all. And personally, I really believe what's going on the inside of you has a way of showing up and expressing itself on the outside. And one tool for me to do that is makeup. You know, I'm, I'm excited about tonight. I, I want to like really honor this space and yourself. So I'm going to get full glam. Like it's, I'm not going anywhere after this. Yes. I'm in my house, fully glammed. <laughs> but you know, so for me, I think it's really, it's something creative. It's an artistry. And, and I think that's because of where I am at in my identity. Like I know who I am. 
I know my worth. I do understand how some people um, can kind of view it and kind of type it in that uh, kind of oppressive way. Um, yeah. But I, I don't see that at all because I really appreciate, I guess, the creativity behind it and just the fun. Like for me, it's just fun. Like I don't yes. take myself too seriously. And I, I, I will, I'm a bit bold. Like I'll give it a whirl. Like, if it doesn't I love that about you, by the way. When you put your red lipstick on and you're like, I tried a bold lip, I'm like, oh, I was so proud of you. I don't think you understand because it just showed, like, because makeup, I think people take makeup sometimes too seriously. If you stuff it up, you can wipe it away. You can change it. There's so many things you can do. So the fact that you just went in, because usually I have to, like, force people to wear a red lip or something, like, just try it. Like, there's no harm. And I love how... You just you just try and you just give it a go and the purple look you did was stunning. <laughs> like I don't oh, think you want to say I raved you. about it for like twenty minutes to my sister. I'm like this is you you're like I feel like because you're having fun with it, it actually is working well. Whereas if you're mm -hmm. too stressed and anxious, it wouldn't really but come out as you want it, if that makes sense. So I, I love yes. that you are just free and you're just like <laughs> I'm going to do it and if it works, it works. If not, I'll try again. So yeah, <laughs> I'm so freaking proud of you. Like, oh, so happy, thank you honestly. so much. You make me so happy. <laughs> <laughs> so has anyone, I know you said that you um, have had a pretty good like upbringing with being told you're beautiful and that is amazing. You don't hear stories like that very often. So it's very refreshing to hear that, honestly. Um, but in saying that, has anyone ever made an insulting comment about how you look while wearing makeup? Um, and if you have, why do you think that is? And if you haven't, have you heard of a story or something like that? And kind of, because I feel like when you're on the outside, you see things a bit differently as opposed to being in the circle. Um, I certainly have had a few things said to me that I would rather have not heard. <laughs> um, I don't know whether specifically makeup, but certainly about my appearance. Mm -hmm. I remember I was doing a styling job for someone and um, the, the lady that we were styling made a comment and she looked at me and she said, well, you're not a real woman anyway. And I kind of, I understood she was referring to my stature and I just felt like that was just so wrong because really, I, I mean, I understand the, what she was saying behind it was, I don't know, her way of um, kind of saying that my body type was not um, what a real woman's body type was and I felt like you know that was insulting yeah. <laughs> because I was like how much more of a woman would you like me to be because <laughs> that's you know it doesn't it doesn't get more than this but um I knew what she meant and I think yeah. she was trying the narrative behind that started in a, in a place where where people wanted to see I guess have different body types of learned mm -hmm. and I'm all about that um, but I don't think you achieve that by condemning one body type to elevate others. And that's exactly what this lady was doing. So I I think that's the worst that I actually, a lot of things are like water off a duck's back to me. Like I get a lot of people saying things about I'm too this, I'm too that, but I'm okay. But that thing, that just got me a bit because I just felt like the whole narrative behind that, it just doesn't do anything for anyone. It doesn't help. It doesn't. Um, yeah, so that whole using that real woman kind yeah. of concept against me, that I found very insulting. <laughs> that would be very, I, I feel like it's the worst when women put other women down. Like for a man, like obviously it's bad because they are not even women. But um, <laughs> when it's yeah. a woman, like I, I don't know if you've ever seen this, like women talking about other people's makeup, like women insulting other people's makeup and stuff like that. I just find it so, uh, I get more offended because I'm like, but you're a woman as well. Like, shouldn't yeah. we be encouraging and empowering each other? And like, if someone has made a mistake, you know, just, you can say it in a nicer way as opposed to saying, oh, she's so fake with makeup. And, yeah. you know, little things like that. I'm sure you see that because I, yes. I see it quite often and I'm just like. Yeah, it's it's just betraying the sisterhood, really. And yes. I, I, it doesn't it doesn't help. And I think it's revealing of an insecurity that that person's having at that moment. Yes. So I've got grace for that because I understand that woman that said that to me, I wasn't angry at her because I felt oh. like it's just revealing. There's an insecurity there for her in her body type. She's unhappy about it. So I can extend grace to her and just move on. But it did a little bit. It did sting a bit because I was like, <laughs> that, that, was, that was a decent, a decent thing to say. <laughs> but, you know, anyway, you get that. I've had a lot of things... Um, 
kind of said to me, and I train also the models that I um, work with as well to be very, yeah, sure of who they are and um, that their, you know, body type or appearance, like their value isn't measurable in that completely. Yeah. So, yeah. and that protects you as well. Because so when someone makes a comment to me, uh, you know, at a casting about my body, I'm like, well, I'm not just a body. So, you know, beauty is like spirit, soul and body. Like, I think it's not just one, <laughs> one of those. Yeah. So, yeah, that yeah. helps with the burn when you get Of course. You, get told. you know, I feel like you have such a great mindset. I love it. No, oh, I think you really do love your mindset. Um, I wanted to ask, this is something that I feel like is so controversial in a way. So, obviously, because you are new to makeup, right? Do you feel like, you know how there's the no makeup makeup look, but like it's quite a few steps. Like, let's be honest, it's, it's not like one thing. You have at least four or five steps, but everyone's like, oh, but you look so much better with like a no makeup makeup look or when people have too much makeup. For example, um, I do this. I do like to overline, but that's just something I like to do. Do you ever feel like with the culture now and like how makeup, because I feel like the makeup trend now is so different to when I actually started makeup. It's yes. completely changed, right? So do you feel like now that the culture and stuff is different, do you ever feel that people want you to do your makeup a certain way or when they say do the no makeup makeup look and then you have more makeup on, they kind of not judge, but in a way they're kind of just like, okay, so you look so much better, more natural. But then when you have a more natural look, it's actually more, sometimes more products than your full blend. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's just absolutely. So yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. And I think it's that whole thing of like changing beauty standards in, in, yeah. in a way in people's eyes. And yeah. so I'm a bit more inclined to, um, I've definitely had people, you know, both ways say, you know, wear more makeup, wear less makeup. Um, so I, yeah, I can get either or. Um, yeah. But I, yeah, I, I still think uh, individually blaze your own trail. Like if you feel like wearing eyeliner, thick eyeliner, red lipstick or nothing, go for it because I think yeah. when makeup becomes oppressive is when we start requiring or telling women or men or whoever's wearing makeup how they should do what they do. Now, we work in an industry where we need to, you know, there's certain ways we need to comply at work. But if you're just in your own, you know, your own yeah. world and enjoying, I, I think the least oppressive thing you can do is just give yourself permission. Do what you want. If you want to wear full glam and just, you know, down the street, just on your day off, do it. Because I, it's your face, you know? <laughs> I love that. I love that. Speaking on that, do you ever feel like you get told you look better without makeup? Like, because I sometimes get told that and I'm just like, I like I personally feel like I'm very confident in my own skin. I don't wear makeup often. Even when I go to jobs, just a bit of concealer. But that as well, I feel like, I, I know it's coming from a nice place, but I, I truly believe that makeup is fun, like you said, and... If like like you said, if I want to wear makeup, I feel like you should be able to wear it and still look beautiful with or without it. I don't think that there's like a standard that you because I feel like when people don't wear makeup, I'm sure you see on Instagram and stuff, they're flawless. They have no like blemish, no dark circles, nothing. And I'm just like that isn't what natural skin always looks like. So that's yeah. why makeup sometimes like you know enhance a little bit. So do you ever like feel that people make comments like that and like? expect you to look perfect without makeup and then when you put makeup on they have a comment because i kind of get that vibe sometimes absolutely and and it is because of the images that they're seeing um for the no makeup there's makeup on um and i also feel like if i've spent a good half an hour on my face and someone says you will look better without makeup i'm like <laughs> i understand you you think that's a compliment but it's a bit of a slap in the face because yes. i actually made a lot of effort to do what I've done. And I see it as artistry. So, you know, as a makeup artist, I, I would think that sword hits even harder. Yes. <laughs> um, but, you know, I, yeah, so I don't say that to people anymore because yeah. I'm like, well, it's not really a compliment it's um, if, you've, if you've made that effort. And like either or, your beauty is not dependent on whether you've got makeup on or off. And I think it okay. comes down to that understanding um, or that if that is your concept of beauty yeah. is beyond your external appearance, then I think, yeah, you just think, look, do you, if you feel like it. Some days I, I um, like today, I had barely any makeup on because I knew I was going full glam and I was like, I'm yeah. not committing to doing this twice. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Um, so I had, and 
honestly, like um, some people, you know, like that see me all the time, probably in full glam, they're like, oh, you look so different. I love your hair. <laughs> and I was like, and you know, like I'm fine. I'm fine with that. No one was rude to me. So it was a good day. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I just think, oh, look, if you, if you see someone, find something that you can compliment yeah and you know that is yeah like and and you know if you if you find external things a bit tricky because there's a lot of nuance in them just pick yeah. something else say hey i think you're like your confidence is inspiring or you yeah. know you're, you're, you're really encouraging or and you know like just pick something that really yeah. stays away from that if you're not sure you're gonna yeah a hundred percent in saying that i you said something that i i literally just a little thing went in my head you know how you said um People say you look different. Do you get that a lot? And like, how does that make you feel when you have makeup on when people say it? Because I get it's a compliment, uh, but like, I get a little bit like, what, yeah. what do you mean I look different? It, <laughs> it depends say. what, it depends what spirit it's set in and you can pick yeah. it up. <laughs> yes. Um, yes. I do look different. I honestly did look different before I did my makeup. Like I do look different. Um, so, you know, I think you can pick up what people mean. Sometimes yeah. there is a malicious intention behind someone saying, gee, you look so different. Um, but I, I think I'm like, yeah, I look different. So I should, I spent a half an hour on this. Like I would want to look different. <laughs> like you don't want to look exactly the same. It's meant to enhance something, right? <laughs> exactly. I wanted to, you know, like bring out whatever, you know, I've tried to. So um, yeah, I do get it. And I think you, it's hard to avoid um, yeah. that, but I don't have too many people around me. Um, I have a lot of, I guess, uh, what do you call it? Emotionally intelligent people around me. Yeah. So I don't get a lot of that. It's only if when I venture out into like new yes. like, circles that I might hit, take a few hits on that side. <laughs> yeah. I completely understand that part. So in saying that, that is, I love everything that you're saying because it's so, I really hope it's helping anyone watching. Um, so when do you feel the most confident and what activities in your life make you feel this way? I think I feel the most confident when I am in my lane doing what I feel I'm put on the planet to do. That is really when I feel the most unstoppable, the most confident. Um, I just feel, and when I say put on the planet to do, like you know about my, a lot well, about my platform, when yes. I'm in a position where I can empower, encourage, and just equip people with practical things, um, which yep. I do through my platform just for their everyday life and models as well now. Yes. That's when I feel the most confident because I, you know, when you're in your zone and you just know that that's, you know, you're not trying to be anyone else. I'm not yep. trying to, there's no, my platform isn't a copy of anyone else's. I don't, you know, there's only one me. It's a Jesse Grace platform. So yep. when I'm in that lane and I'm doing that, I just feel on top of the world. I feel confident. I feel like that's what I was born to do. So, yeah, I think that's the most confident. <laughs> I think that is the best thing. Did you always kind of, um, I guess, know what you wanted to do? Or, like, when did it come to you? Like, how did this happen? No, not at all. And I, and I haven't always been confident either. Oh, wow. Um, okay. Abs like, yeah, so what I'm doing now is something I never would have envisaged when I was younger because I was the kind of person that, which people don't believe me who meet me now, but I would be running out of rooms to not have anyone speak to me. I wouldn't speak to people. Um, I was so insecure and I was yeah. so not confident at all. So it really is a miracle that I am a speaker now and that I get to empower others. And I feel like in one sense I can add a lot, um, if I can say so, in, in, not in like a proud way, but because I've navigated um, a lot of that territory um, in my own world, it gives me such... Um, things practical things to offer people that are in that same place so no i haven't always um felt confident yeah and even and it was even reflected in my appearance which is why i'm so empowered watching people like yourself doing what you're doing not just doing makeup but how you do it because yeah. i for me my kind of transformation from being someone that would run away from people in a room to someone that now like i can't wait to get in a room full of people and talk yeah. to them um i think it's got a that as well sorry to interrupt i'm so curious you, you have to keep elaborating on this i am so curious <laughs> yeah so i just yeah i i guess um so i got into i was always doing a lot of uh my work always involved empowering people at some level so i worked in africa for a little while with an organization that was about 
empowering people, but it was more very specific to um, the kind of crisis that was going on in that area. So, um, so, but it was still developing holistic programs, building people up that had been experienced extreme trauma. Um, and then when I came back to Australia, I was doing the same thing, but on a youth scale. So working with youth. Wow. So working through a lot of issues, very similar. And then when I started my platform, I found I was doing a lot of one-on-one -on -one coaching, talking and just saying the same things and seeing people get results in their lives. And I thought, how can I do this so that it can get to more people? Because I can't, like there's a limit to how much I can do one-on-one -on -one, and I can just put this out and more people can benefit. Oh, that was, you know, the thinking behind it. So that's why I started my platform and that's why I'm still, and it's evolving. Like I didn't, yeah. I was not modeling when I started my platform. I was scouting yeah. through my platform and then we began the journey of going through all the challenges that come with that. I, <laughs> love, that. I love that. So how would you say um, you kind of dealt with being this insecure person to now transforming. And I know that like we're human and sometimes we do get our insecurities, but yeah. you seem much oh, more sure. confident within yourself. So what, like, do you have any tips? Like what kind of made you transition and be like, okay, I'm going to start being more confident. And it shows, I truly believe it shows in photos and in your personality and your energy. So what, <laughs> what is this little thing? <laughs> Yeah, lots of things. And I haven't arrived, so I'm still training for rainy. I do have a long way to go, but I have come a long way. I can, yes. I can honestly say that. Um, I think there's a few things. One of them is make sure you surround yourself with people that see and speak to your potential. Because I had a friend that used to speak to me. And honestly, when I think she must have been just amazingly, um, just full of faith to see someone in me like that could kind of command the attention of a room at the stage I was at when she met me. She, she said to me, I used to attend different conferences with her. And she said, Jess, I know that you're going to be speaking at these in the future. And honestly, I did not believe her at all. I was like, you've got to be joking. Like, yeah. but good on you. You're an encourager. I appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> Um, and honestly, uh, like, so that's where I was just, I had no view of my own worth. I thought I was worthless. It showed up on the outside. Uh, honestly, I was tempted to send you a photo of me from that time. It wasn't because I was not attractive. It wasn't yeah. that. But you could see my self-view coming out on the outside and how I was dressing, how I didn't care about my appearance because I didn't think I was worth anything. Yeah. Um, so I always share that sometimes in, in some of the sessions I do. For a select few, I share that photo because it's just it's horrendous. <laughs> but it's, it's not horrendous from what it looks like. It's just the memory I have of who I was and how I felt yeah. about myself. So I think get people around you that are going to keep speaking um, into your potential even when you can't see it for the trees. And I had that consistently, continuously, until I started to believe it. And they will convince you. And then once you're convinced, there's no stopping. Like once you really start to believe um, what other people see on the inside of you, then you can take it and run with it. Um, what else has helped? I think getting a strong identity in who you are and knowing what it is, what your purpose is. Why are you on the planet? You're not just here. Like, I really, this is my personal belief. You're not just here just to take up space and just be. You know, I, I really feel like everyone has an innate gifting and a really, you know, important purpose. So I think yeah. finding that and giving myself permission to be me. Like, I have, which you're probably getting, picking up a few. <laughs> like, I have some funny mannerisms and they're not going anywhere. Like, I have been, I was trained at a, um, I did a, like a presenter course with a television station and, they notice pretty quickly some of the things that I do, you know, without even knowing it. And I just learn now. I just, I'm just okay with that. And that's yeah. only because um, I, my identity again is really strong in knowing, you know, my worth and value, but also I know who I am. Like I've accepted, this is it. Like it is what it is. And yeah. instead of thinking of, oh, look, this is what's wrong with me. I just think of, okay, that's what's right with me. I've got that to work with. Don't waste time on, you know, what I don't have um, and just work with that. So I think, yeah, I, I think they're probably the main things. Just find out who you are, independent of your job, independent of what, how popular you are, how, what people think of you, yeah. um, who's in your corner, just on your own, find out, you know, who you are and, and get really comfortable with who you are as you are instead of, yeah. um, you know, falling into the trap of trying to create another you 
which you yeah. have to maintain, which isn't real. Um, that's tiring and it's not worthwhile. We miss out on you if you do that, so don't yeah. do that. <laughs> I love that. That is actually the best thing and it's so true. I I love that so much. I think we I completely agree we're on this earth for a reason and we're on this earth for a short amount of time. So I truly believe that we should just embrace every single moment and just live unregrettably unregrettably because realistically we're never gonna have this chance again. We're never gonna be this age again. So that's why yes. I truly believe making every day your runway because why not feel yes and look beautiful? And I truly think makeup does that, right? Like, do you Absolutely. ever, right? Do you ever like, so say for example, right now, how are you feeling? Like when you wear a bold lip, how does that make you feel? When you, you know, have a simple glare, like how does makeup make you feel when you have different, like, do you know what I mean? Like you have yeah, different vibes. Absolutely. You I, there is a lot of power in makeup. Like sometimes, yeah. some days when I'm feeling a bit like, whatever, I will wear a red lip. Now, not tonight. This is special yeah. glam for tonight. <laughs> but, you know, like I just, you know, so in that way, I'm like, you know, there's still colour in the world and it's bright. And, you know, so in that sense, I think also makeup can be a bit of self-care, at least for me it is, because yeah. it's something I do for me. Like mm -hmm. I want to, you know, look a certain way and see how I can create that. And I get really a lot of satisfaction out of doing that. Um, I don't mind if I walked out. Like, it's not, I don't look for feedback in of that course. sense. Because it's, it's something for me. Like, so I really, and that's why when I did your course, I was just so grateful and I was messaging you. I was genuinely, I was just like, I really needed something that was, you know, going to just, yeah, in that moment, we're in lockdown. Things yeah. were just pretty pretty rough <laughs> if you're a model or anyone working in the creative industry or just for everyone um yeah. and it really it really helped me so I, I honestly have a really good relationship with it in the sense of I use it to um express myself or you know add a bit of color when I'm you know need a bit of brightening up or yeah um yeah just those things so I have a very positive relationship with with that with the whole makeup and it's all about the feeling, I feel like. It doesn't necessarily matter how you wear it. As long as you feel beautiful, who cares what yeah. anyone else says? True? Like, it just radiates. Absolutely. Oh, I love that. Absolutely. And I, I've got that personality in makeup, um, fashion. Like, I wear yeah. stuff that people, even when I was younger, I remember at school, I used to wear things and people would constantly tell me, what are you doing? What are you wearing? Like back when things weren't in fashion, which they are yeah. now. Thank you very much. <laughs> I know. Very vindicated. <laughs> um, but I remember that. And, and, and I'm just like, I think also I'm wired a bit that way as well to be like, yeah, I'm not doing this for you. I think this looks good. Um, and I have no regrets. Like when it comes to makeup or fashion, like, you know how people look back and um, look at photos. And I look back at photos of me when I've worn something that was just yeah. Put it out there. But I, I look at that instead of going, oh, you look crazy. I go, I'm so proud that I had the boldness to wear that. Like, I'm so happy that I didn't not wear it because I was frightened that the people around me would be like, you can't do that. So it, it completely is, I've got a different probably bent on it in that way. <laughs> I, I think everyone should literally like take a video of that and re, re rehearse it in their head because I'm sure we've all had some very, interesting choices when we were young but it's back then we thought we looked great so why you know what i mean like we might look back now and be like well that was interesting you know so times are always going to evolve so i love <laughs> love that you were like that that is i truly think perspective on anything is just a game changer so yeah please never ever 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 <laughs> that because that is amazing on you i love it so much so my my last question and this is a really good one what would you say is the number one everyday beauty maintenance step to do in the morning? So what's one thing in the morning that you would like, you're like, okay, this is my one thing that I like to do for beauty, makeup. Like, what would you do? Because I know what I would do. What would you do? Yeah, <laughs> I am going to go with um, sunscreen because yes. I am such a sunscreen person. Um, every day I wear sunscreen and um, I, I think – yeah, for me, that's the one thing I do consistently. Some people ask me, what do you do for your skin? It's just sunscreen. For the first, like, yeah. so many years, all, all I wore was sunscreen. And I just think that's the best, probably practical beauty thing that I yeah. do when it comes to <laughs> makeup. I, like I don't know if it's makeup, but it's beauty. 
it's definitely beauty. I feel like that is the most important thing. And I'm sure if like in my course you saw that, that was the first thing I put on the face because I'm like, sunscreen is so important. Even under makeup, it is so important yes. to protect your skin. Like, and that's why your skin looks amazing now because you protected it <laughs> from the sun. So I, I love that answer so much. Oh my God, that is like the best answer in the world because when I hear someone doesn't wear sunscreen, I'm like, wear it every single day, rain, hail, shine, whatever the weather is, please, you wear it. So other than sunscreen, would you, because for me, I feel like the one thing I would always usually wear is concealer because I have dark circles. So that just mm -hmm. makes me feel a bit more put together, a bit more like, you know, I'm one, one color ish face. Yeah. Would you have like, what is something that I guess you would want to, you you have amazing skin anyway. So I'm not <laughs> sure what you would I, really think. You took a oh no, definitely. I've got a, I've, I've got a few things that I would, I like, like concealer is good. Um, yeah. but I'm, I, I think eyebrows because when I don't like, I don't have, obviously they're quite hectic, but I love it. I um, love it. <laughs> they're amazing. But, I don't, this, you know, like these are painted on pretty much yeah. um, because I, I really love how it frames my face because my face, um, not in a negative way, but it can be quite severe um, yeah. looking. Um, so I, I, I like how that helps because it gives yeah. a bit more like width, I guess, yeah. to my face. Um, other than that, I think, oh, I'm going to say everything in the end, but um, I like, I like adding a little bit of, blush here for the same reason just to give my make my face look a bit fuller yes yeah that's my little cheat or lip gloss I just cheat I just use honestly whatever I've got just <laughs> I'm so proud of you because makeup is versatile so you can actually use your lip gloss your lipstick you can use anything on your face if it works it works oh my yeah. god I'm, yeah. so, I'm so proud of you so do you have any like last minute tips on you know how to get someone who's very insecure about applying makeup or scared because they, they're not professional, they don't know what they're doing or they're watching 10,000 million YouTube videos and they all look so flawless on there and they have they don't yeah. realize they have so much lighting and filters and all this stuff. What yeah. would be your advice to someone who wants to do it but is, is scared, I guess, who's nervous? Yeah, um, it's normal. And yeah. I still get a bit scared with some of the looks I rock as well. Um, because, you know, I'm learning, I'm on my training wheels. But I think just have a go because, yeah. like, you do see the progress. Like, I've worn some pretty, pretty, you know, interesting looks. But I'm <laughs> glad I did because if I didn't do that, I wouldn't be, get any better. So yes. it's like your own feedback. So just don't be scared. Like, don't expect yourself to be perfect. Like you're saying, if I'm watching your feed, you are a professional. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to compare, like, my yeah. skills to yours. You are trained. Yeah. You are seasoned. This is yeah. your gifting. You're an expert. So I think I don't expect to get your level, but just, yeah. you know, start where you're at. Don't put pressure on yourself. Like, like for me, it's, it's fun. It's, it's something that I do for myself. So yes. I think take the pressure off um, trying to become a professional makeup artist. That takes a lot of years. And that also takes, you know, the gifting as well. But you don't need to be a makeup artist to have a go. And exactly. I think if you just be kind to yourself and just start, like, and you will get better. I, I believe I've gotten better bit so by much. bit. Um, so, you know, and I wore nothing. And my sister, I've got three sisters. You would think I would know everything about makeup. No one taught me. <laughs> um, they, didn't, they don't really wear much makeup. They got yeah. this stunning, honestly. They, yeah. they don't wear really lots of makeup. And they're not kind of, um, they're not as into beauty as I have yeah. come into because as yeah. a model, I've kind of had to wind yeah. myself that way. Um, but yeah, so I didn't have that background. So there's no real, you know, reason why, um, I should expect myself to have any skill in that area, but like, and also, you know, lean into people who are professional, like, you know, doing your course, honestly, it just gave me such a good platform. It encouraged me because some of the things that you said, I was like, Oh, I do that. Oh, good. Yeah. I'm not completely off. <laughs> um, yeah. but then it was very empowering because it also just gave like the way you spoke. Um, it just made you feel like you can do this. And that's, yeah. that's what I got out of it. And that's what I, I think for people that are watching that aren't makeup artists, that aren't models, you can do it. We, none of us just, you know, woke up as a, you know, doing what we're doing. Yeah. Um, so, you know, just give it a whirl. Don't, don't be too hard on yourself and, you know, just don't expect expert level 
when you're starting out, you don't beat yourself up because you can't ride a bike straight out the gate. So don't do the same when it comes to makeup or any other new skill. I love that so much. And I'm genuinely like so grateful. Really, when you sent me the voice about how you thought the course went, I was in tears because that's exactly why I did it. Like I genuinely wanted people to come out of it and be like, oh my gosh, I can do this and it is easy and I can experiment and have fun. So I'm so, so happy because that means, you know, my job is starting to get accomplished, which is amazing. So I'm so grateful for that. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. You are super affirming just in like, I know that's who you are, but in how you, you like wired that course, I just had to, I had to reach out to you because I was like, this is more than a makeup course and, and you are adding value to people by communicating the way you do your skills practically. And that's incredible in this industry. So thank you, because honestly, it's just, it was such a breath of fresh air to see someone so talented at such a high level, but so willing to empower other people and affirm other people. I, I just think if you're doing that in life, you're just winning. You're just uh, incredible. Oh my gosh, I literally adore you. That is like, honestly, when I started makeup, that was what I wanted to do. Like, I, like, I don't care. What I do in life, I just need to empower women because like yourself, I was very insecure and I feel like for anyone, any age, you should never feel like that and should never feel like you're too old or young to embrace your beauty. So that is honestly why I did it. It was not even about anything. It was just about getting my point across and the fact that it did come across makes like makes me so happy because I was nervous. I'm like, I genuinely hope that like what I'm feeling and thinking is actually because I'm like, am I talking too much? Like, you know, you get a bit anxious. I'm like, I'm just going to no, you absolutely back. nailed it, Beauty. You absolutely hit it out of the park. It was incredible. Thank exactly you. what you set out to do for me, like as someone using it, it's you, you job well done. It was, it was absolutely. I know I can't, I can't say that enough. Genuinely. I'm not just saying it, you know, because I really appreciate you, but I do. Um, oh. But yeah, for, as far as like doing makeup and it's not just makeup, I, you're more, than, it's more than makeup. That's what I'm yeah. trying to say, what you're doing. Um, makeup's incredible. I'm not minimizing yes. that, but it, it, it's, it's really, you add value to people in the way that you communicate um, your skills. And that's, that's what I think really made me just, yeah, want to reach out to you. Oh, <laughs> that makes me so happy. And for everyone that is watching and going to watch this, make sure you follow Jess. Her Instagram is there and I'm going to tag you in it as well. She's an amazing model. She inspires other model models. I was going to say modelers. And you have a course, right, teaching models how to do everything they I do. I so do. I do. I just kind of put all of the questions that come into my DMs from models and all of the things that I get asked a lot along the way by models and trying to kind of save them a lot of pain and, uh, you know, just you know, a lot of things that they don't need to go through. So I put them all into, you know, kind of a bite-sized little videos. Um, yes. So just while also whilst we cannot meet face-to-face, -face, um, at least there's some empowerment and just practical things that I've picked up in my journey um, that they can take hold of. And I hope they succeed beyond me. You know, we're kind of pioneers. So I, I hope that what I've learned helps someone as a stepping stone to going further, bigger and better. Um, that's where I get the most joy out of when I see people succeed, um, you know, just beyond and beyond even where they want, you know, thought they could see themselves. So that's the model course in a nutshell, I guess. I love that you're even doing that. I think it's very empowering, inspiring because as model, like I know a few models that were very nervous and had no idea what to do and they were doing so much research. And when you do a lot of research, you get different answers mm -hmm. and you're not really sure what to listen to. So I feel like especially that you're doing it, someone who's so genuine and I truly feel like you wear your heart on your sleeve and you're just so authentic and raw and you don't lie. You're just like, this is how it is. But you say it in such a beautiful way. Like you're very delicate with how you speak. So thank you. I think anyone that is starting out to definitely reach out and buy your course because I truly feel like, like you said, it's going to add so much value, not only about how to model, but how to physically and mentally be like that because it's such a mental yeah. thing. And I oh, think exactly. people, modeling is easy, but it's, actually not it's yeah, so I, I i i would have thought that before i start yeah modeling yeah. and um yeah it's not at all <laughs> no um no. but it's it, it is very rewarding you get to meet a lot of incredible people and be part of some amazing things but it's just good to have some wisdom in your ear along the way and and just people that you can 
reach out to trust, check things with so that your kind of journey through is a successful one. And, and that's what I hope to be for models in this space, someone that they can do that with. I love that. Do you have any other socials you want to promote now so people can find you or is your Instagram your main yeah. kind of I think Insta, well, it's probably because it's my preference for social media. Yes. <laughs> um, but my Instagram, yeah, you can reach out, check out my Instagram and um, my website's there, but you can always just message me directly. I'm very approachable, I'd like to think. <laughs> so Please. send me a message or, you know, um, yeah, um, get in touch that. that way. Probably Instagram, Instagram's my social media of choice. <laughs> I love that. Well, I will link it up and in the description box and everything. Thank you so much, Jess, for coming and chatting with me. And thank you for being so vulnerable. Honestly, I know these topics can be a bit, uh, you know, they, they hit a spot sometimes, especially when you're talking about your past self. I remember when mm. I used to like, cry a lot because even thinking of that, it's just like you feel sad for that, that girl that experienced that. But in saying that, if we didn't, we wouldn't be where we are now. So Thank Absolutely. You so much. Yeah. Well, thank you for creating a platform for it too, because I think it's good for, like I said, people might look at my Instagram and they see like the finished product really of a lot of things in my life, but it's yeah. not until I'm talking to someone that I'm like, no, no, I've, I've been through the, I've been through some stuff um, yes. and, and other people are going through lots of things in their life. And that's why I think it's just, it's just really important that we do create some kind of platform to talk about that. I can't always talk yeah. about that on set. You know, you're there to do a job, but yeah. you know, if if you can create space for that, you can help a lot of people because otherwise, the view might be that oh, this person's life just everything sails on. They've never had to navigate difficulty. They're just this amazing blessed person. Everything goes right, and that's not real. Yeah. Exactly. And that's not reality. That's no one's story. <laughs> um, so yeah, so thank you for creating a space for it because I, I feel it's so important. Uh, now more than ever, actually, um, with all the tools that we have available to us. So thank, thank you, Jess. And just being you, honestly, I'm watching your Instagram. I'm watching how you present things. And I just think you are so real and you're so easy to lean into because I'm only inspired by people I can relate to. Yes. And, I, you know, and I think if you're not presenting yourself in some forums, you know, in that real genuine way, you, can't, you limit the amount of people you can inspire. Um, so so inspired by you thank you keep doing what you're doing jess because mm -hmm. it's it's incredible it's having an amazing impact and i'm you know it's gonna it's gonna spread through my family i've already had my sister asking me to do a glam session with her soon so look you know, at that <laughs> it's 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 going beyond <laughs> i love it oh my god that makes me so happy <laughs> so freaking proud of you oh my god thank you again and I feel like our souls just kind of united and we are so alike, especially our name. Hello. We're like queens. Yes. Just putting Jess that one out there. I had to. <laughs> There's something special about Jess's. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. But again, thank you so much. I hope you have a lovely evening and we will definitely chat soon because this was incredible. And for everyone watching, I'm going to be saving this and putting it on my socials. And I'm sure Jess will be putting some as well. So make sure to watch it and I will see you all soon. Bye, everyone. Thank you so much. Thanks, everyone. Bye, beautiful. Bye.